trying to look for the quintessential Indian small town and the quintessential new Indian small town, the small town that has spawned up in the new liberated economy India. What we knew very early on was that the city was going to play an additional character in the film. When we did the recce, we knew what we were up against. There is no infrastructure for, for a shoot at all. So we had to start from scratch. There is a center of the city, which is a huge congested marketplace with all kinds of things going on at the same time. It's noisy, it's dusty, it's choked with traffic, it's pollution, it's dirty, it's full of people. And most interestingly, this town has got an airport. A very small but a very swank airport. It's got a runway, it's got a lobby, it's got a VIP lounge. It's got everything that any airport will ever have except aircraft's landing. The professor's gang is over there roughly where you are. Uh -huh. And the plane is over there, right? So that's the geography. We found the city to be a canvas, it had all the material, but then our production designer Vandana Kataria, she went and literally put makeup on that city. We were showing a city which was uh, gearing up for elections, so we had to literally put that up while we were shooting the film. So, we developed the signage of the parties that were contesting the elections. We had to paint literally the whole town in the colours and hoardings of that party. And we put up these huge 60 feet, 70 feet high hoardings. And many people thought that these were actually election posters or hoardings or signages because they had become the architecture of the city. India is something you Well, shooting in a small town, if you have Imran Hashmi as one of your stars, it's never going to be a cakewalk. Most of the film was done on, uh, on the streets outside. So there used to be long roads which had to be covered. For them, we were the zoo. We were like the biggest, highest form of entertainment they could find, so they would not leave. We didn't have place to walk on the entire chalk because there were some 10,000 people there. And then Priya was seeing people all thinking, we have only four cops, what do we do? So I said, in our uh, costumes petty, we have cops uniforms. What if the crew people also wear, then instead of four cops, we'll become 10 or 12 cops and let's drive them away. Each department had to contribute at least two people from their team for production to crowd control. Crowd, let the crowd envelop Jogi. You stay there, okay? And then slowly Jogi will come out in front of the camera and yell, okay? Here I am walking with the camera on my shoulder and you know, there was supposed to be this big fight. And I realized that these people are not acting as if they're fighting, they're actually fighting, they're going for it. Explain them, they have to pretend. The crowd had to be trained into rioting without actually damaging anything. They had to be trained into beating up somebody without actually injuring someone. Uh, Atul Mongia and his team of workshop directors literally came to the city of Latur and worked with all the character actors, the secondary cast. In some cases, the bagger had this really good idea to, uh, to let the crowd in the frame. Cut the ropes and just let them get in and they just were so much excited to come in. So they're there and they're jumping and they're fighting with each other because they want to see. That shot till date I watched it and it's like so full of life. And it's because it is real life. We cast from theatre groups in these cities, from amateur actors in these cities and you will see the actors of Latur and Baramati populating the entire film and giving it a texture that no other actor could have given because they bring the place and the environment to life. When we did the most fundamental part of the film, the incident around which the film hinges, without that incident there is no film, which is the accident. The brief that we set out for ourselves was that what happens when you're standing on a roadside and you see an accident? He comes here and he says, and you give it a bit, give it half a second because it's very dramatic. You see the car approaching. He will just go on emoting till the wire pulls him. So he doesn't have to do anything. It's the wire pulling that has to give you the boss. Yes. To be faithful to our premise, and we just kept the camera away and filmed it the same way that one person who would be in the same area would have seen it from afar. 
unexpected. Say, sir, this is a very tough thing we are going to do with you. I had to give those shots around 9 to 11 times. It should look like it's just flying. Dr. Ahmedi's accident had to be seen through Shalini's eyes and it had to be as immediate and as frightening and as gut-wrenching as it can be to give you that illusion that there is no VFX. This is a red-blooded, full-on thriller. It's a whodunit, it's a chase. It's a mystery, it's a drama, uh, it's all these things rolled into one.